Today I want to tell you two different stories about trust. One's very, very old, one's very, very new. The first one is about Abraham. Now in Genesis and in Romans and Hebrews, we're taught about Abraham. And the Lord had promised him and his wife Sarah a child. And they said, he said that this child would then, of course, bring on more children and they would have descendants as numerous as the sand on the seashore. And so yet it didn't happen and it didn't happen. And do you know that when that son finally came, Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 90 years old when they had their first child. So they trusted and they believed and they waited and the Lord was true. And so that built their trust. But then, years later, God asked for Abraham to sacrifice Isaac on an altar to actually kill him. And Abraham obeyed. He trusted God because he had proven himself trustworthy. And so he took Isaac up on a mountain. He took all the supplies and everything to build an altar, but there was no animal. And even Isaac asked his father, where is the animal for the sacrifice? And he laid him on that altar and he tied him down. Can you imagine? Think about that. If you have a child especially, think about that. Could you do that? Could you trust God enough to do that? Well, I can tell you, the word tells us the reason why Abraham could do that is because he believed that God would raise Isaac from the dead because he trusted his promise of those numerous, countless descendants that were going to come. And so what happened was he was ready. He had the knife raised, ready to bring the knife down and slit his son's throat and sacrifice him to the Lord, and the Lord stopped him, and he provided a ram, and Isaac was spared. And Abraham proved his faith, he proved his trust in God, and God proved he was trustworthy. So that's the very old story. The new story is my own, and I want to share that with you to show you how the Lord has increased my trust. A few years ago, he told us to sell our home. Now this home was one that we had custom built. It was 3,000 square feet. It was beautiful. It was everything we wanted. And he asked us to sacrifice that. He wanted us to take that money and purchase land for a ministry. It's called Promised Land Bucks and Ducks. So we did. We obeyed the Lord. We trusted his plan and it all came to pass. And so we actually moved into a rental mobile home and we did not know how long we would be there. We did not um, know how long we would rent. And this mobile home was 1,000 square feet. It was not fancy. It was not beautiful. It was a home and we had everything we needed. But again, we didn't know how long and we just trusted the Lord. We didn't know what was to come. Well, God knew. And what was to come was that he wanted me to start a second ministry. You know, Promised Land Bucks and Ducks is a ministry primarily that my husband is involved in. This ministry, Living Hope, is a ministry primarily that I'm involved in. And the Lord called us to buy a home. And so here we are now, three years later, we are in another 3,000 square foot home. But in the world's eyes, this home would not be considered better. It would not even be considered as nice. But the truth is, is that it's far better than what we had three years ago because with this house, the Lord brought an additional blessing. Our mother, my mother, now lives with us because the Lord called her to be a part of living hope to assist me in this ministry. And so she left her home four hours away and she moved up here into this home with us. So the Lord not only gave us back a house, but he gave us a home with my mother in it with us. 
And that has been a great, great blessing. And you know what that's done for all of us? It has increased our trust. Because God, once again, has proven himself faithful in ways that we could never imagine. And so I hope that this gives you encouragement. If you are struggling to trust, if you're struggling to put all of your faith in the Lord, I just want to assure you, He is faithful and He is trustworthy. And you can look throughout scriptures and just see account after account after account of the Lord's faithfulness and His promises and that they are true. And I just really encourage you, I challenge you to read them, to search for them, and then to cling to that and to stand on that for yourself so that you can fully trust in Him. My name is Candy Rice, and I am the author of He Enriched My Life by the Death I Suffered, Learning to Trust God Through Depression. And through that book, the Lord brought this ministry of living hope, and I love to share the physical, mental, and spiritual healing truths that the Lord taught me through depression, and then the healing that He gave me of it. And so I love doing these vlogs. I ask that you share them on your Facebook page so that others can be encouraged too. And if you would like me to come speak, I will be happy to come uh, to a meeting, to a conference, a, a retreat, uh, even if it's your church service. Just contact me through Facebook or through my website, Living Hope at CandyRice.org, and we'll get that scheduled, and I will come share more of what the Lord has shared with me. So be blessed today and let the Lord increase your trust.